Found it again. <laughs> Try to be careful next time. All right, all right. Sorry. Be careful next time. You know, actually, I was, um, I was gonna say, you know, um, you know, we've been traveling together for quite a while, and the, which is fine. I mean, I really enjoy your company. It's just, uh, I don't know. We, we've been doing this for a while. To, uh, People are starting to wonder. If... Shut up! Anyone out there? Please help. What Don't you it? hear that? Help me! What is that? Never get any good up these days. I think it's going to be this way. Someone heard me this time. I'm down here, just rusting away. Yeah, me, down here. I've been waiting forever, alone, consumed by demons, rust, and loneliness. It is a robot. Oh, hey! Look at you! Oh, man. I haven't seen anybody in so long. Uh, with perhaps an introduction that's uh, necessary. I'm, uh, HLT-1251-4B, but, uh, uh, my fellow robots just call me Hewlett. Or at least, they did. I haven't seen a real face in so long. Oh, wow! This is amazing! I'm finally getting pulled out of the river. It's 
this is a beautiful day. I'm gonna have to put this on my electronic calendar. Oh, this is wonderful. I'm gonna get clean, I'm gonna get a new body, I'm gonna finally have someone to talk to. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh. oh. Hey, um, nice to meet you, I guess. Uh, uh, I'm Edwards, and this is Olivia. Um, are you just a torso and a head? Rude, but they're accurate. Oh, you know, uh, an apocalypse happens, the world changes, and I'm out of a job. And my buddies Packard, Mac, and I made our way out here looking for work, but uh, they got blown up on an old landmine, and I washed away down the river. Yes, I was a lucky one. What about you two? Uh, you know, same. Well, I'm, I mean, it's a little more complicated than that, but uh, well, I guess we could tell you about it on the way back to town. Maybe the mechanics can get you fixed up. Well, you don't say! Don't cut me off. What I was saying was, with you being a robot, you might be able to tell us how that apocalypse actually happened. Yeah. Well, that was a perfectly logical explanation. Jesus came back and you all got left behind. Oh, I'm joking. Don't you remember? Well, see, that's the thing. It's... Nobody really knows what happened. Everyone has a different memory of what went down and... You know, some say it was zombies, or alien invasion, others say robot uprising, or even world war. Weird. Sounds like a psychological attack to me. Diabolical. But you would have the right, you would have the right account, like, on your hard drive, right? Well, I, I would, but of course it would be stored in my backup storage, which seems to have washed down the river with my legs. Well, maybe you wouldn't mind fetching those for me. You seem like a young strapping fellow. Uh, yeah, sure. I could probably take a quick trip up the creek. Uh, Olivia, why don't you get them cleaned up a little bit? So now I have to do all the dirty work. Oh, it's your turn. So, are you free for dinner tonight? You know, I could put you back in the river. Hey. Hey. Good morning. Or is it afternoon? Out of all these watches, I don't have one working. <laughs> Come, sit down. Okay. Yeah. okay. I haven't sure. caught anything yet. So you're not scaring the fish away. Have a cup of coffee. Oh. Good. Thanks. Hey. Uh. Thanks. Should still be good. Um, I, I don't mean to be rude or anything, but uh, what's with all the watches? Uh, I collect broken watches. So it's a, it's a bit of a hobby. Hmm. Gotta have a hobby in the post apoc you know. Yeah. yeah it's it's funny because I um I had a watch just like that. Yeah, it's kind of broken in the same place, too. <laughs> I, uh, just found this the other day. Maybe it's yours. You want it back? Uh, nah, that's, it's fine. You can keep it. Thanks. Don't really need it. <laughs> so, um, I, I don't suppose you've seen a pair of robot legs floating down here, have you? <laughs> robot legs? I, I haven't even seen any fish today, <laughs> and I've been all up and down this river. Uh, right. <laughs> you know, it's, it's funny, I, I haven't really seen you before. Uh, do, you, do you live in a town? The Great Hall? Yeah. I uh, live there. I just leave early and come in late. Oh, okay. Fish merchant, you know. Oh, yeah.
world is so much more peaceful these days. Yeah. Sometimes I think it's actually better this way than it was before. I don't know. I'm Priam, by the way. Oh, uh, Edward. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Say, you wouldn't happen to be the Edward who's trying to start a library in the Great Hall, are you? Wait, wait you, you know me? <laughs> Some guys I work with, they were telling me about you. Huh. Well, fancy that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, uh, I used to be a literary historian for the end, and, uh, yeah, I, uh, books are kind of a passion of mine. Let's see. Well, you seem like a pretty nice guy, Edward. Perhaps you'd be interested in what I found the other day. Wait, did, what, like a book? Not just a book. A whole library. Wait, 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 what? Wait, you mean intact? Where? You know the warden? Yeah. Well, it's not guarding its territory anymore. Wait, wait, wait. It, it moved on? <laughs> I suppose. <sighs> anyway, that's where I found the library. I can show you where it is someday if you like. Yeah, just. just, 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 just Is it the sky? No. Oh, 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 is it your shirt? The shirt's not even blue. Where's Edward? Aw, oh, do you miss your little friend? No, I just want to go. That bookworm can get lost on his own time. I'm hungry. I heard that. Oh, hey, there you are. Hey. Yeah, where were you? I triple cleaned this thing here. Well, excuse me! I don't even have any arms! How do you expect me to locomote? Well, I um, ran into a fisherman up down the creek of a ways and um, uh, we had coffee. Oh, nice! You're over there on vacation while I'm over here cleaning and slaving away and you didn't even think to bring me any? Actually, I did. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> Got her! Shut up! Now, let's steer this conversation back to what's important. Did you find my legs? Oh, uh, um, no, sorry, I didn't find any, but, uh, I might have actually found something better. Library. A library? Yeah. Really? That's neat. Let's go see it. Oh, I, I haven't seen it myself, but, uh, the three of said that. Who? The fisherman, he, he said his name was Priam. That's not possible. Wait, what? Do you know him? I mean, he said he was from town. No! Priam is the worst human I've ever met! But... Why? What did he do? He betrayed me. When? It was before I met you. I thought we were the only ones left. I trusted him, but he... Well, maybe it's not the same guy. Who else has a name like Priam? Well, Homer's Iliad, King of Troy. Yeah, that's right. Stay out of this! Look, Olivia. I'm sorry this guy was a jerk to you. He has a library. Don't you understand? I, I have to find it. Even if, especially if it has, you know, what, what I'm looking it's, for. It's, it's finding the past. Is it that valuable to you? The past? If we don't know the past, then we don't know who we are as a society or as a people. Some people want to forget their past. I wish I could forget Priam. He was going to abandon me in the wilderness. And that's why I couldn't just do the same to... You couldn't do what? Nothing. Were you? No. 
Were you gonna leave me when I was sick? I, um... Is that why you've been sticking with me this whole time? Because you felt guilty? What? No! I... I kind of thought... You know what? I'm gonna find this library, no matter what. Edward! Don't be an idiot! It's this way. Going back for him or what? Huh? No, oh, come on. You know you like Edward. That bomb. I can't believe he went off on his own. Yep, you really care for him, don't you, Olivia? Well, I mean, why else would you be so worried and angry when you try to protect him? What? Were you some kind of psychologist robot or something? Nope, just a plumber. Whatever. Well. I'm a sociologist. I should also know how people act. Wow. It's, it's beautiful. <laughs> oh, there's so many antiques. Thank you. Thank you so much, Priam. I... 
I haven't seen a collection like this since the end of the world. That was just the beginning of a new one. Edward, there's something I want to talk to you about. Wait. I have to know. Still enough, but a quarter. Which means one, two, three. <sighs> yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's just look. They have a copy, intact! Oh yes, I see. Yeah! <laughs> well, we'll begin with this one then. Some might have called this the most important book, others might have called it the most dangerous. Well, yeah, I suppose so. You see, Edward, I want to talk to you about something. I need your help. Yeah, I mean, we gotta make sure that we get all these books to the Great Hall somehow. We can't. What? Look around you, all these books. They're filled with old history, sins of the past, especially this book. But we've been given a chance it's in this new world to start fresh, to start anew, to revise history. All will be forgiven if we allow ourselves this chance to start over. Priam, what are you talking about? I mean, this world is new. Once the generation that knew the terrors and horrors of the old world has passed away, there will be a new generation that has never known the evils in the world. We can remove the chance of them imitating our mistakes if we just remove the record for all time. You can't mean to burn these books? Edward. You must understand, in order to let the next generation step out of our shadow, we must first remove that shadow. You can help me by bringing your collection here so I- No! Without a knowledge of history, humans will cease to exist as a culture! All of us strive for something more than just survival. We struggle to prove that we once existed. We want to remember. Not just the good, or the bad, but both. So we can learn from our mistakes, pass on that knowledge to others. We need to remember. We need history. But history is always in flux, Edward. Rewritten by the people in charge. Haven't you noticed that everyone remembers the apocalypse differently? But put them in a group and they slowly begin to agree on a single version of Armageddon, usually based on the leader's viewpoint. Because the person who controls history controls the people's perception of the truth! It doesn't matter. The majority agreed. It doesn't even change what really happened. There is still only one truth to this universe. Even if people claim differing perspectives, that's why I have to preserve these books for future generations to read, so they can seek that truth! <sighs> then it would seem we are at odds. I'm gonna need that key to your little collection, Edward. Why are we always walking?
gracious. Oh, my stars! What kind of monster could have done such a thing? It must have been Priam. I suspected he was a super soldier before the end of everything. They had some nasty reputation on the news. Oh, oh, use the wire on my back to link me up with it. I might be able to get some information out of this. This wire? I'm not sure how to... Oh! Got it. Do this without breaking you. Smacked you in the face. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whoa, whoa, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, me, ah, me! me! Seems the warden was destroyed by Priam, you were right about that. Seems to have been guarding the library, which is over there. Where? Oh, the uh, right. Still no hands. No. Mm, you know, I just noticed that my neck doesn't move either. Oh, well, just pick me up and I'll tell you where to go. Knowledge of our past sins will lead the people to know more ways to hurt themselves. It's human nature to sin. We always fail, but we strive to do better. Why we're called to be different from animals. Even if you burn these, humans will always fail each other without a shepherd. You know, Edward? I thought we could be friends. If you won't see the light, I'll just have to. Priam! Olivia! Well, time to see, Priam! Is that you? I thought you were dead, traitor. No. Take more than a shoulder injury to kill me. Come on out, Olivia. Love to see how you're doing ever since you shot me. Why don't you come find me then? Uh, I'd love to, but uh, I've got <laughs> I've missed you, Olivia. I'm done with you, Priam. People can be forgiven, but if you can't forgive yourself, you're just going to cause people pain. Everybody pain. Oh, I see how it is. You think I'm just a piece of equipment, don't you? Well, I'll show Shut you. Up. No! What did you think that was going to do, huh? I'm a robot, you moron. That didn't kill me. Surely a 
must understand. I'm not just trying to erase the evil deeds of my past. I may feel horrible for the things I've done to you, Olivia. I know you must still hate me for it. So you see, it doesn't matter if I forgive myself. As long as somebody remembers, or it's written in a book somewhere, the past will always haunt me, or you, or anyone. If I can erase the record, I can wash away the sins of the old world, I will save this new world from the old one's sins! That's blasphemy. Thanks for coming back for me. You were right. I should have listened to you when you said that Priam was a terrible person. It's okay. I'm sorry I got so angry with you. I mean, you know, I don't show it often, but I really do care about you. 
Glad to hear it. So, did you find what you were looking for? Yeah. I still can't believe it myself. A Bible? Was, was, it, was it really worth it? Absolutely. The only thing Priam got right is when he said that this was the most dangerous book and the most important. Why? What's in it? Hope for the future. Well, why don't you read some of it to me? All right. Where did you want to start? The beginning. Okay. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form, and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. The Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. God saw the light, and it was good. Mm -hmm. 